working through scenarios of reacting to enemy forces coming into Latvia and them either stopping it or turning it and eliminating that threat from coming into our area of operations. I can uh, call uh, indirect fires with the, with the mortars, with the howitzers. Two guns, three rounds. Fire Great! Lima Delta, four, eight, two. So we're communicating with our observers uh, who are also out there observing the actual target itself and they are adjusting us into our targets after we have clearance of fires. They use our techniques and tactics and they learn how to emplace the howitzer and learn artillery. Five. People in Latvia and uh, America are similar. So when uh, uh, somebody needs, so they are ready to help each other. For me as a Latvian soldier, it is very important to represent my country here in these exercises in front of Canadians, Lithuanians and all the other countries who are involved to show that to, we, can, we can do a lot. That Latvia is a small country, but we can do more than people can think that we can. Copy that, stand by. The special partners uh, like Finland, Sweden and others are, are uh, vital for uh, maintaining uh, peace and stability in, uh, in this region. Uh, so we're welcoming uh, their, their participation in any of our exercises. The airspace here is very tight, so uh, lots of small nations together in, uh, in a small space, so uh, we need to be able to very, very uh, smoothly and seamlessly cooperate. It depends on the environment we're going to get in. If it doesn't permit the chopper to land on the ground, so it's going to be faster for us to insert with fast rope or rappel. The point is to insert fast, a small quantity of guys somewhere where the enemy wouldn't suspect you coming from. So you can go, come in, get out. Well, you got to wear these gloves because when you go down, the first uh, important thing is to put your two feet together around the rope. That's where you're going to break. 80% of the braking part is going to go with your feet, but the next is going to be with your hands. And if you don't have good gloves, you're going to burn your hands while you go down. The flip side to a quick insertion is a quick extraction. As you can see behind me, soldiers are practicing a technique whereby they clip themselves onto a rope that is attached to a helicopter. The helicopter will fly off and the soldiers will follow in tow attached to the rope. This technique is used to extract soldiers from a danger zone quickly and bring them a relatively short distance away. It's important that we're here because we want our allies to know that Canada takes its responsibility to NATO very seriously. We are a partner in NATO and we want to ensure that the alliance is strong, that the alliance can operate in a range of scenarios as needed.